everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well today we are coming back with a top five in my collection and we are talking highlighters probably one of my favorite makeup items i love some highlighters i never if i'm going to do a complete look i have to use a highlighter i just love that glow so let's get into my top five highlighters Going in no particular order, the first one is the MAC Cream Color Base in the color Shell. This is not necessarily just for a face highlight. You can use these as a eyeshadow base and this one happens to be more of a highlighter shade, but I love this shade in Shell. It is gorgeous. It's a pink champagne type highlight and I think this goes really well with fair to medium skin tones. I think if you are a deeper skin tone, this may come off a little too champagne, a little too light. I would definitely use more of like a gold one for someone with deeper um, tones, but there it is. It's so pretty. I love creams because they mimic the skin a little bit more than a powder would. Obviously, you know, some of them that I'm going to mention are powder, and I think they can really look wet and nice on the skin as well but there's something about a cream highlighter that is beautiful I would just use this even without makeup just to give a little bit of dewiness if you're dry skinned this is going to be beautiful because you want to look like you have hydration like your skin is plump and youthful and I think this is absolutely gorgeous one of my favorites and a little goes a long way you definitely get a lot for your money the next one is sort of a hybrid. It's not a cream, it's not a powder, it's kind of a cream to powder, I guess you would say. It's a very unique formula, and if you don't already know what I'm talking about, it is a ColourPop product. This is the Super Shock Cheek product, but it's a highlighter. It's the pearlized um, line, and it's Lunch Money. Ugh, this is gorgeous. I have this swatched on my hand, and it is... A little bit more on a warm champagne shade if you didn't like the way champagne highlighters look on your skin but gold might be too harsh for someone with fair skin tones this is beautiful because I don't know if you can tell in this swatch but it has some warmth but it still has that champagne feel to it it's gorgeous this formula is so interesting it is spongy but it goes on the skin like powder but still feels creamy i don't know does that make any sense i still cannot understand these products i know i love them but i cannot understand the formula it's absolutely gorgeous so this right here is lunch money um, and also too, I should probably mention how I apply these. Sometimes a stipple brush, I find with these stipple brushes are the way to go, you know, tap that in the product and stipple that on because if you use a really fluffy brush on something like this or even the cream um, MAC one, you're not gonna pick up enough product. Also, fingers are always a best tool in a makeup lover's world because you can just dip your finger in and pat that on you definitely pick a lot more up with a finger or maybe a stipple brush with these types of products so just something to keep in mind before i go to my next highlighter i just want to say for all these highlighters that i'm mentioning they have a particular criteria that has to be met and that is does it wear well on my skin? Does it, you know, accentuate pores? I don't want that. Is it finely milled? I really want something not to have too chunky of glitters. I want that sheen. I don't want glitter. Um, you know, how long does it last on my skin? That type of thing. Does it break down with the oils, you know, in my skin? And all of these things pass with flying color so that's why they're in my top five so i may repeat some of these as i'm talking through the products but just so you know that's kind of the criteria i give my highlighters when i'm looking for something that i really love are those things the third highlighter that i love is a popular one it is becca's skimmery skimmering skimmering ki dinky dink the Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca in the color Champagne Pop. 
these are amazing. I love the liquid versions. I love the pressed versions. But out of all the colors, I think Champagne Pop has been the one that I've gravitated towards more in my collection. So that's why I mentioned this one particularly. But these are gorgeous. This will last you forever. Can I just say you may pay a little bit more of a price tag with these. But I don't think I'll ever go through this. I don't even have a dent and I use it a lot because a little goes a long way. These suckers are pigmented. So this is Champagne Pop. And this is kind of a neutral highlighter, I would say. It is more of like a rose gold. It has a little bit of champagne in there too. And it's just gorgeous. This is something that I feel more skin tones can wear because it's not too gold. It's not too champagne. It has that rosiness to it. I feel like someone as fair as I can wear this with a light hand, of course, because this could go wrong so fast you don't need much you'll look like a disco ball if you put too much but that's the shade right there and you just see that my hand is just glowing right now absolutely love this and again it meets all that criteria that i was just talking about the next one i want to talk about is another mac product it is my mineralized skin finish and soft and gentle this is just a gorgeous shade i think i gravitate a little bit more towards the pinky champagne shades. I don't know. This is very similar to another one I'm going to talk about and it's kind of similar to the MAC um, cream base in Shell. That same type of tone but here it is. It's look at how wet my hand looks and that's that's how I know I love a highlighter is if it gives that wet look on your skin like you're just glowing within. I love an intense highlighter. Not everybody does and sometimes I, you know, soften it up so it's not so intense but if you're going to go for it, go for it. And this one does. It is a cult classic. You hear about it all the time when someone's talking about MAC products. It's probably in everybody's collection that loves MAC and I just... I love this. Look how pretty that is. And it's very similar and I would say somewhat of a dupe to the next one I'm going to mention. But again, Max Soft and Gentle is beautiful. And the last highlighter I have is an e.l.f. highlighter. You probably see me use this a bunch of times because I really love it. The packaging's getting a little beat up. It is an e.l.f. baked highlighter and this is the color Blushed Gems. It's gorgeous. I have the swatch here on this hand and I'll show you why I put it on my the opposite hand that I was using for the others, but that is the swatch. This is more of a, I would think, rosy champagne shade, very similar to Soft and Gentle, and then the MAC Shell, that kind of tone I'm always drawn to, so that's why I have a few, but there it is. And the reason why I put this swatch on this hand is because with Soft and Gentle, I said I had a possible dupe. They are very similar. I would say that, um, the e.l.f. one is a tad bit more rosy, but here they are. I love them, and they both give a very high shine. I'm just looking in the viewfinder. If you ever wonder why I'm looking towards that direction, it's because I have the viewfinder, and I just want to make sure I'm in frame, I'm recording, all that. Side note. But anyway, so here you go. They're very similar, and when I apply these with a brush, I can't really tell the difference. I'm actually, I think I'm wearing, yeah, I'm wearing e.l.f., um, the blush gems today very lightly I didn't go too too crazy with my highlighter today but that's what you see the shine on my face as the elf one and it's gorgeous and I think this was I don't know it was definitely under six dollars I don't remember off the top of my head how much this was but gorgeous definitely check these out I've never seen them in store on Target or any other store that carries elf I've only seen these on their website but still check it out definitely love that one and that's it for my top five highlighters. I absolutely love these. They are a staple in my collection. They're definitely products that I would repurchase if I were to run out um, because I think they're there that great. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite highlighter is. If it's, you know, if you like any of these or if you have another one that I didn't mention that you absolutely love and it's your go-to highlighter, I'd love to hear some of yours as well. And if you liked this video and you like the top five series that I'm doing, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, you know where that button lives. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.